25 years ago off Broadway, there was this little show that has that opened and took the world by storm. We're talking Stomp, and we are with one of its co-creators, Luke Caldwell. What made you create Stomp? Uh, being a drummer back in the UK and being a street performer and just doing lots of crazy stuff with rhythm. And we did the Edinburgh Festival, which is a big UK arts festival and put it on there and people loved it and we and the ambition was always to come to New York so this is a, a still a dream come true 25 years later did you ever think it would go for 25 years no no of course not I don't think anyone ever does but but I think uh, you know a lot of belief a lot of belief in art from ours but also in the cast the New York sort of took it to, for its home you know everyone in New York loves the show and the cast it feels like a New York show now which is, which is great now the OBs are all about celebrating off-Broadway and off-off-Broadway. What off-Broadway or off-off-Broadway play or musical has inspired you the most? Um, I don't know. I, I, obviously, I didn't know about off-Broadway before we came here. Uh, I knew a Blue Men because I bumped into them earlier on different uh, when I was in New York at another time. Um, at that, and at that time, the off-border was at Jam on the Groove with Mr. Wiggles and Bill Irwin doing stuff. And so it was all great. It was such a creative mix. I love the fact that you can have dramas, hip hop, mime, stand up, all working in the same, all being able to chat to each other and hang out. And I think that's great for off-Broadway. And what's up next for you? We're still working on films. We're working all different stuff. Stomp's still going. Uh, life is good, but busy, busy making art and doing stuff. It's all good. Thank you. One of my favorite actors and musical performers is Mark Kudish. Thank you. Mark, what off-Broadway or off-off-Broadway play this year has inspired you the most? I'm not going to lie, Girl from the North Country. <laughs> I'm, and I, yes, I was in it. I'm not going to say I wasn't. But really, I found it one of the most inspiring theatrical experiences I've ever had in my career. And frankly, being at the, um, uh, the public theater in this past fall season, um, with, you know, Mother of the Maid and Girl from the North Country and the other shows that were happening all at the same time over there and they were all so different and so vibrant and so American, which means so diverse. It was amazing. That, that was one of my favorite experiences in my career. Really? Yeah, I swear. Being at the public this fall was like, it made me happy to be an actor again. And what's up next for you? I'm out of town right now doing an out of town tryout at Hartford Stage. The Flamingo Kid, it's fabulous. Oh, I've heard about this. Oh yeah, no, it's great and it's wonderful and it's fun and it's real throwback. It's got great heart to it and a really great story at its core. And you know, television, film, but I have a feeling we'll be seeing a little more off-Broadway moving to Broadway soon. So, you know. Well, I look forward to seeing what you, whatever you do. I have loved this girl's performing since I saw her in Tamara across the river. We're talking Margot Seibert. Mar I said my name right. Well, I know your name. Oh. <laughs> it moves me deeply. I've been following you for how long? <laughs> I very much appreciate it. Of all the plays and the musicals this year, Off-Broadway and Off-Off-Broadway, which one has inspired you the most? Is it terrible if I talk about my own show? No. Um, well, it's not in this season. Octet over at Signature Theater. Dave Malloy's brand new show. Eight part harmonies. It's insanity. But that's not what we're here to celebrate tonight. I'm very excited to see Oklahoma's <laughs> performance. I'm seeing Octet on Thursday. Oh, I'm so I can't wait. Oh, I'm so actually. I'm happy to have you there. Has there been any show off Broadway or off off Broadway that just has stayed in your mind for so long? I mean, I would say most of what moves me deeply I see off-Broadway or off-off-Broadway. Um, New York Theatre Workshop, what the Constitution means to me, um, scenes from a marriage, I go, I, the Rachel Chavkin piece that was recently there, phenomenal obviously. Um, I love their work and I honestly feel like almost everything that they do I leave talking about for, for months. Well, I would ask what's next for you, but we know. Octet. Octet. Octet, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> and do you have anything else lined up for this year? Um, right now, I hopefully I'm going to...
going to be working with Rachel up at um, New York Stage and Film for a few weeks. Oh, good. So that is in the works. And other than that, who knows? I'll let you know when I know. <laughs> well, I always want to know, as you well know. My name is Keisha Lewis, and I am a judge this year of the Obie Awards, and I won an Obie Award uh, two years ago. Now, of all the plays off-Broadway and off-off-Broadway, or musicals, mm -hmm. which one inspired you the most this year? I think I'd have to say, oh Lord, it's Jordan E. Cooples, Ain't No Mo. That one really took my breath away, uh, particularly because of the fearlessness of it. I wanted to rescue the bag. <laughs> Did you? I did. And yeah. where can we see you next? Um, I am doing television right now, um, taking a little bit of a break from theater. Um, the next thing I'm doing, I'm shooting a new series on Hulu uh, that comes out in the fall, I believe. It's called uh, Wu-Tang Clan, an American Saga. I'm an orchestrator and composer, and I worked on Oklahoma. Yes, I interviewed you. <laughs> what? So uh, we spoke on the phone. We did. Oh, nice to meet you. You too. Fabulous. Nice to meet you. What off-Broadway or off-off-Broadway play or musical inspired you the most this year? This year? Uh, gosh, I've seen so many. It's over. It's an overwhelming question. Uh, I worked on this piece, Vera Stark, by Lynn Nottage at Signature, and I found that really moving and, and sobering and mind-bending. What inspires you when it comes to theater? Strong directors, strong actors. And what's up next for you? Uh, I'm working with this director, Richard Jones, on a project at the Park Avenue Armory called Judgment Day.